Hi, thank you for watching. Today I would like to show you a painting by Vincent from his earlier career. It's a maybe, well, maybe it's not his best painting. It's not very colorful, it's still very dark, but it goes with a very interesting story. And the name of this painting is Congregation Leaving the Reformed Church. It is in the Vincent van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. That's where you can see it. He painted this in 1885, when he was living with his parents again in a small village in the south of the Netherlands called Nunen. And that was after a few years he lived in The Hague and he lived in Drenthe, a province in the north of the Netherlands. But because of money issues and uh, health, he decided to go. He had in mind going back to his parents for only two weeks just to recover. But he stayed there for two years. And this, this was the church where his father was the minister. Here you see a picture of his father. The, the church is rather small, but it was a reformed church. And the area where they were living in the south of the Netherlands, that was very Catholic. It's a Catholic area. So now the reason for that goes, goes way back. And it has to do with the 80-year war Holland had with Spain in the 1500s and the 1600s. But... That's another story. If you're interested in that history, send me an email. But um, it, it is still the case that the, the more north you go in the Netherlands, the more Protestant it gets, and the more south you go, the more Catholic it gets. So in that village, the, the village of Noonan, in here you see a small um, map of the location of Noonan in the country. In that little village, in the time that Vincent was living there, there were only around 800 inhabitants, something like that, 800 in total. And if you realize that in, in that area, around 90% was Catholic, so then you'll understand that you don't need a big Protestant church there. But Catholicism was forbidden in the Netherlands after the Reformation. So Protestantism had been the state religion for almost 300 years. So after Napoleon, around 1815, Catholicism was allowed again, so in that, in that time there were many arguments between Catholics and the Protestants about the buildings, the actual church buildings. So in areas where there were no Catholic or Protestant churches, then the, the government paid for a church. So that's what happened here. So this was a Catholic area, and the Catholics had all the churches because Napoleon gave them back to them. And Napoleon actually paid for a small Protestant church. So this little church was built in 1824 and Vincent's father became the minister here in 1882. Now Vincent probably didn't visit this church too often by himself. The reason for that is at that time when he was painting this, uh, this little church, with his, when he was living with his parents in Noonan, he completely had it with religion. And that is the opposite of what it used to be because Vincent was raised religiously and as a child he often went to church even be before he um, uh, he became a painter he wanted to become a priest just like his father and at the age of 20 21 he uh, he worked in London he worked in London and in Paris in the art shop of his uh, of his uncle and he wrote letters to his brother, Theo, to his sisters and to his parents. And the main topic in those letters was always religion, always about God and Jesus and everything. And um, complete chapters of the Bible he wrote in his letters. Later on in his life, in all the letters that we have, the main topic was always money, always asking for money. But in his earlier career, it was just religion that he could write about. He studied theology in Amsterdam. He worked as an, um, as an evangelist in Belgium, and he worked for a church in London. There is actually a sermon spoken by Vincent in a little Methodist church in Richmond in England. You can still Google it online. But, but somehow, at a certain moment, he was not interested in religion anymore. He, he was disappointed in religion, and all his jobs ended in a disappointment and his studies and he was sent away everywhere and from 1879 
his interest moved from religion to painting. In, in some paintings later in his life, religion plays a role. Here, two examples from the um, Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, but that's another topic. I will discuss that in, uh, in another video. But a certain moment in his letters, what you see is that his interest is moving from religion to painting. So when he was living here in uh, Noonan with, with his parents, the, this church didn't mean much to him, but, but he knew that religion and this little church meant a lot to his parents. His father preached in there, and his mother, of course, was there every Sunday. But there was a time that Vincent's mother could not go to the church because she had an accident. She was tra a certain moment she was traveling by train to Eindhoven, the, the, big, the bigger city nearby, Newland. She was doing uh, shopping or visiting relatives or whatever. But stepping out of the train, she fell and she broke her ankle or her foot or a leg, whatever she broke. But she could not go to church because she had to stay at home and give her leg some rest to recover. But so Vincent knew how important going to church was for her, so he decided, well, if, if, if we can't get mom to the church, then we'll bring the church to mom. So Vincent made a painting of that church and gave it as a present to his parents. How sweet is that? And interesting as well, what I think is really interesting, that originally on these paintings, on this painting, that the trees had no leaves, and all the those people that you see leaving the church, they were not there on the painting. Originally, there was only one person on that painting. There was a farmer with a shovel or some tool. We know that because he made a sketch of that painting in one of his letters. Here you see that, and you can see that through X-ray. But six months after. Um, he made this painting, his father died. His father died suddenly in Nunen. So Vincent decided to change the painting, to make adjustments. He removed the farmer, that guy in front of the painting, and he added a fence and he added leaves on the trees in, um, in the color of the fall. And he added people leaving the church, people in mourning clothes. So you can understand that his mother and then the whole family, they, they've always appreciated this painting. It was the first painting that Vincent gave to his parents as a, as a present. So for the family, it, it, it always had a special emotional value, of course, and the painting was always kept in the family. This one was never sold. But this painting had been stolen once, stolen from the museum in Amsterdam in 2000. It, a thief broke into the museum. It was just a local guy, just a local guy from Amsterdam. Normally he was stealing bikes and uh, radios from cars, but he thought it was time for a big one. So he decided to break into the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. And so he did, he just climbed up the roof, smashed in a window and went inside, just grabbed the first two paintings that he saw is this one, the Church of uh, in Newnan and Sea View, and he got away with it. Actually, they we found them back 14 years later, so the, these paintings were missing for 14 years, and it turned out that the Italian Mafia had them. One of those guys was arrested for a drug deal or, or something big. And then he tried to negotiate with the police. Hey, if I get you the two stolen Van Goghs back, will my sentence for jail will be lower then? So after 14 years or something, the museum got them back. Here you can see a picture of the director by that time of the Vincent Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. Really proud and happy, of course, as we were all happy and um, excited. But unfortunately, they were quite damaged during the during the theft, so it took them a few years to renovate them. But now since April, I think it was April 2019, you can actually see them again in the, in the museum. Well, that was my story. I hope you enjoyed my story about um, 
the painting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it, if you did like it, of course. And uh, well, feel free to, um, to go through more of my videos of um, Van Gogh paintings. Bye.